Okay, well, we haven't come far today. Um, just come up to a place called Yomitan, uh, which is on the uh, kind of like southwest coast of uh, Okinawa. Uh, just a short drive from, from the apartment. Um, beautiful location, and I've just got a very quick composition that I want to share with you guys. A uh, very easy shot. It's uh, coming up towards the end of the day. Beautiful light right now, uh, but where we're going, we've just had a little um, typhoon that's gone past us uh, uh, in the last couple of days. So the weather's starting to calm down. Uh, there is still a bit of swell uh, in the waves and that's why I'm gonna go and shoot this location now. This location is tucked out of the way a bit, so uh, and it's a bit overgrown. Uh, it's a, an area of the coastline that isn't really visited too much, uh, which is quite nice because uh, it means then that not many people have got the shot, which is good. But we do have to fight the uh, undergrowth a bit. This isn't the location I was after, but we can try it. It uh, looks like there's a photographer doing a session where I wanted to take the photo, but this is uh, a good alternative. Okay, well here we are. Behind me you can see this beautiful little location. Uh, you've got this kind of archway that comes down into this uh, single column here. Big rock in the middle. You've got the ocean out there, out yonder. Um, but the most important thing is we've got these really nice rocks close to uh, the position of my uh, tripod. And as the waves come in, they're quite rough. Um, they create all of this nice white water, but as they recede back from these rocks, what they're doing is they're creating these really nice lines that go out into the ocean or that they meet the, the incoming waves, as it were. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get set up for the shot. I'm using, a, again, I'm using my Lauer 12mm f2.8 on my Canon EOS 5 DSR. Um, I've got the filter holder set on already. All I'm going to go ahead and do now is set my filters and we should be good to go. I'm aiming for a 1.6 or 1.3 second shutter just to get that uh, extended shutter speed in order to get those really nice long lines of the receding water. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to start off with an ND32, which is a five stop, and see where we go from there. Okay, what I've actually done is I've swatched out. I did start with an ND32, but um, I've done a couple of tests. A little bit too dark, so I've now switched out, and I've put an ND16 uh, on the filter holder. And as you can see, uh, beautiful location in front of us. Uh, I'm on a 1.6 second shutter. So I've got a nice composition. I'm on F8 ISO 200 um, because I wanted to retain uh, the 1.6 second shutter. Okay, it was a little bit still too dark. I, I need the F8 aperture. Uh, it's still a little bit, too, little bit too dark. I didn't want to go longer than a 1.6 second. So my only option was to up the ISO. It's only at 200, so it shouldn't be uh, an issue at all. Uh, all I've got to do now is wait for the right time, which is looks like the set just starting to come in now. So we'll wait and see if we can get some really nice lines of the receding white water. Yeah, that looks that looks awesome. It's a beautifully balanced shot. Uh, the shadows are a little bit dark, but I can pick them out in post. Uh, but in general, very, very happy. Up until now, what I've been doing is I've been waiting for the water to recede. Got some beautiful images, by the way. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to wait for the um, wave to rush in and catch the water as it crashes over the rocks to, again, just produce a different aesthetic. Got a big one coming here. Here we go. We've just got this whole wild riot of uh, water rushing in, rushing out again. 
So you can get two completely different aesthetics, two completely different looks uh, by using those two almost ambush methods, I would call it. One where you're catching the wave as it comes in and one where you're waiting for the, for the water to recede and have those white lines uh, washing back out to the ocean. Okay, so going to wait and ambush another one see what we get but so far it's looking really good looking really nice um, I've since changed my setup a little bit I'm still on f8 uh, I've since come now back to 200 ISO 200 and my shutter is two seconds okay and that, and that at the moment with these conditions uh, just very much just before sunset it seems to be working a charm and uh, here comes a hoofer so time to get busy we've got the shot from here so I'm gonna nip around the corner and hopefully get just one more shot and then that'll be it for the day. Okay, we're right in front of us as you can see, we've got this really nice little bay Okay, uh, it's actually probably about 30 meters wide, um, but the problem that we've got, if I shoot it with my super wide Lauer 12 millimeter, it's gonna look tiny. Uh, so what I've got in my bag is I've got a Zeiss 50 millimeter F1.4. Uh, I'm gonna use just to isolate these rocks in the middle of the bay here, maybe get uh, just the, the left edge of the, of the bay exit, because uh, there is some foliage on it. That works nicely with the white water from the large waves that are outside it. Uh, but we've got all of that water that's coming in in waves, crashing over these rocks here. Perfect for a long exposure. Uh, it can only be done when the conditions are right. Uh, for example, after a typhoon, which is where we are right now. So I'm going to get go ahead and swap out my lens uh, and I'll pick it up when, when once I'm ready to start shooting. All right, well, as you can see behind me, the sky is starting to take a nice tone, uh, blue tone. Got a few highlights with the uh, sunset. We can't get the sunset here at the moment. But what we do have, uh, I set up my camera now. I've got the, uh, the Zeiss 50 millimeter uh, F1.4 uh, art lens on the camera. I'm at, uh, where are we, F8, ISO 200, and I'm on a six second exposure. Um, on the actual camera itself, I've got uh, the filter. Again, I'm sticking with the uh, 0.9 uh, soft uh, graduated neutral density filter and the ND16 and that's allowing me to get this nice long shutter just at the point of sunset which is great I've uh, got some beautiful big waves in the background white horses on top of those big white caps lots of rough water in this little bay so I'm hoping fingers crossed that we can go ahead and get some amazing images got some beautiful uh, sh waves coming in now so I've just tripped the shutter six second exposure how are we doing uh, we're starting to really get the tones of the sunset in the shot now without the overbearing big ball of, uh, of sun smack bang in the middle of the shot so sunset shots without the sunset can sometimes be very very beautiful indeed so I'm gonna go ahead take a few more shots try and have a look change up a little bit the uh, composition and see what else we can come out with. Okay, so that was a fantastic 10 minutes of imaging. Uh, quick split, a quick last minute decision just to come out and do some shots, take some shots. But check out this bay. This will give you a good idea of uh, what it is that I'm shooting. So you can see all of this nice rough water here. These are the rocks that I'm um, isolating in the middle of the shot. And then this foliage that you've got up on this uh, left-hand side of the bay at the end. Awesome, five minutes worth, 10 minutes of uh, imaging just to bring us some magic. Good stuff. So uh, thanks a lot for subscribing. Um, hit the notification button if you haven't already just to get updates as and when new content's available and I'll look forward to catching you very soon.